What's up, fight fans? I'm Jay Gatto, and welcome to the Boxing and Jedi's Tavern. And uh, today I'm going to be talking to you guys, man. We're going to we're going to talk a little bit about uh, certain things that I've been seeing. You know, I mean, it's it's been out there for a long time, but we're seeing it more and more often. And you know what? It's it's you know, in, listen, enough is enough. All right. Um, this morning I was, you know, I get up, I go through the YouTube boxing universes, you know, um. And I had a couple of couple of uh, uploaders that I'm subscribed to that I had to actually unsubscribe from. You see, a lot of these uploaders like to play devil's advocate, right? You know, like to play both sides, you know. Um, they also like to, you know, pull and pry with your emotions, you know, as to trying to seem unbiased when they're speaking on your boxer, you know, uh, just to pull you in. Then they love to say that, uh, you know, numbers, uh, just numbers, just that. But then at the same time, you know, uh, they do these things just to hold you as a number, right? But they lie to you, you know, they, they confuse you. Me personally, I, I'm not with that shit. And I wish a lot of boxing fans were just like me, where as soon as they see a little bit of, of dilution within the sport, bro, they're just like, fuck this dude. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what happened. I was just like, fuck these guys. Fuck this dude. You know, these guys are just playing devil's advocate. You know what I mean? It's very hard for motherfuckers to try to have a platform and be unbiased. And then they go back and, and they think that they're being unbiased by reporting both sides. Like, Manny Pacquiao is not on steroids. Let's get that shit straight. Whoever believes in that is a fucking dummy. Whoever's reporting this is a fucking dummy. Whoever actually is wasting time and energy, but yet they're they're fucking out there saying that uh, it's 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 uh, innocent until proven guilty. Then why is it that they're not laying that same fucking rule down with Manny Pacquiao? Because to tell you the truth, Manny Pacquiao has never, and I repeat, has never been fucking tested positive at all behind any fucking test. Call me a pack talk, Call me whatever the fuck you want. The point here is, I am really unbiased. I have called out everybody, even fucking fighters that I follow. And to this day, I'm not saying that I'm waiting for any of these motherfuckers that I follow today to fucking pop up on some positive shit. But if they happen to, this is exactly what's going to happen. They're going to get called the fuck out. So all of you fucking uploaders and all you fight fans that, that listen to Poli uh, uh fucking uh, Mayweather Sr., Mayweather Jr. himself, and all these other fucking guys... That just don't believe. And they're going out there talking about they don't know shit about the sport. They don't know shit about boxing. But yet when 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 Floyd Mayweather was exposed by Thomas Hauser, right away VADA, WBC, Damage Control, tried to shut it down by saying, oh, because they said he didn't. But yet Thomas Hauser had a lot of fucking documents. A lot of, right? So this is what I'm saying. So if you guys are going to admit, omit, should I say, omit. Meaning leave out a lot of other fucking fighters that have been testing positive and that have tested positive. But you're going to say, because Pac, because you can't stand the way he's fighting because he's looking better than your fighters, even of the fighters of today. You guys label him. It's just like being a bitch. It's just like being, oh, it's not fair. He's on steroids. I can't believe he's doing that all by himself. But he has. And you're just going to have to swallow it. Take the dick and it is what it is. So all you fucking fake ass uploaders, you could come see me too, I don't give a fuck. But all you fake ass uploaders, all you fucking stupid motherfuckers out there that are going around doing exactly what the fuck these scared ass niggas, these agenda driven motherfuckers did to Patty, Manny Pacquiao and continue to do, like Pauli Malignaggi and the rest of the motherfuckers that he knocked out. It's funny how other motherfuckers are not saying that he was on something. But these, they want to pull up amateur footage and, 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 and fucking, oh he's on steroids, yeah. Alex Ariza could say anything he fucking want, and so could Freddie Roach, because them two mother... I already debunked this. These two motherfuckers were already at war with each other. Remember when Ariza kicked Freddie Roach in the chest? So Freddie Roach, being an asshole, a fucking stupid motherfucker, not thinking sometimes because he talks too fucking much. Not meaning that he lets up, but he just likes to talk. He don't think before he speaks when he's mad, right? We've seen this before. He comes out and he says, oh yeah, uh, Alex Ariza was putting some inside Manny Pacquiao's uh, drink, right? But then he says, but, but Manny Pacquiao didn't know anything about it. What the fuck? But how come he never tell? That's what I'm saying. Freddie Rhodes said that to make Alex Ariza, Alex Ariza look like a fucking uh, a dirty motherfucker. Alex Ariza says shit about... So this is what I'm saying. You can't go by that shit either. And if you're going to do research, don't just don't open the book and skim through the pages. Read the fucking book. 
Context clues, motherfuckers. Everything. Read everything. And don't speed read either. That's exactly what happens. So fuck all you biased motherfuckers out there. All you agenda-driven niggas. All you fucking fight for. All you stupid motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck, son. Fuck all you guys that are out there still fucking claiming that Manny Pacquiao's, are, Manny Pacquiao's using steroids for the Broner fight. Now get the fuck out of here. Saw this shit on Facebook. Saw this shit on... You guys make no fucking sense. Talking to the fans. And now the uploaders, you guys that are uploading this shit just for numbers and for fucking clickbait or whatever the fuck is it you do, you're stupid for that. You can't be respected. You can't. You just can't. You're either going to call it one way or you're going to call it the other. But you can't call it two ways. Because when you do call two ways, obviously you got to go through one fucking way to retract your fucking statement. Right? You stupid motherfuckers. Otherwise than that, I'm Jay Cotto, your boy telling the truth within the sport of boxing. Always have, always will. God bless each and every one of y'all. Stay vigilant. Peace.